بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کوٹ آف دا ڈے دا اسٹرانگ مین از ناٹ دا گڈ ریسلر دا اسٹرانگ مین از اونلی دا ون ہو کنٹرولس ہم سیلف وین ہی از اینگری بائی پروفٹ محمد پیس بی اپون ہم I'm Dr. Munib Al-Taf and today I'm going to critically appraise the article by considering the strobe checklist. So starting from the title, this is the checklist and in the title it says that uh, indicate the study design with commonly used term and in the abstract to provide an information, uh, informative and balanced summary of what was done and what was found. So this is the title. It's a role of referral system in the provision of health services to the patient, a prospective study in the South Punjab, Pakistan, and it was published in 2023. Now, uh, in the abstract. So uh, in the abstract, a structured summary uh, has been given and uh, it say, authors say that the Uh, rural community are still experiencing a multitude of the health problem in comparison with their urban counterparts. Objective of this study uh, is to identify the challenges influencing implementation of the referral system for quality health care services delivery and investigate the role of effective referral system in the Rajan to Pakistan. And after the assessment, Uh, of uh, this uh, study, it was found that there is no implementation of proper rules and regulation of the referral system in health care uh, in health system in District Rajatun, Pakistan. Uh, so in the title, study design was mentioned and it, in the abstract, it was a good uh, um, summary. And uh, it was mentioned that what was found, uh, what was done and what, what, what is found by the uh, author in this study. Now comes to the introduction. In, in the introduction, we will uh, see the uh, background or rational and uh, objectives. So uh, in the introduction, variables required for uh, uh, required in this study uh, is the referral system. income, age, transportation, availability of the doctor and availability of the medicine, educational um, background, relevant hospital and diseases. And uh, in the introduction, the author said that this study aims to identify challenges influencing implementation of the referral system for quality health care service delivery and investigate the role of effective referral system in Rajan. Now, uh, strength of the introduction a good scientific background was given with almost 10 citation aim of the study is clearly mentioned and considering the weakness the clear rational was not given and uh, um, any hypothesis is also not provided now comes to the methodology we will see the methodology and the study design setting participants Uh, variables, data measurement, and study of the bias and uh, statistical methods. So in the methodology, and the targeted population were patient approaching for treatment of three specific diseases, tuberculosis, hepatitis, and cardio-related uh, in the hospital of Rajanpur. And uh, these are the three uh, district uh, uh, level hospital uh, Uh, is, uh, these are the three district level hospital where study has been conducted. So uh, DHQ Rajanpur, THQ Rajan, and THQ Jampur. And this was the formula which is used for the sample collection and uh, sample size. Sorry. So in the methodology, in patient related questionnaire, respondents were uh, uh, patient referred from different healthcare facilities. So this part include demography and, and socio-economical variables such as household status, education level, area of the patient, general health condition of a patient from where patient gets their first treatment. and from where patient was referred was also noted. And overall cost of the treatment, including direct and indirect treatments, such as registration fees, transportation fees, uh, cost, medicine cost, miscellaneous cost, was the part of questionnaire. 
and uh, simple random sampling technique was used to uh, uh, was used for the sample size and the sample size uh, uh, is uh, 273 and for the data analysis frequency table were made with SPSS and uh, Excel was used uh, to generate the graphs and a pre uh, structured uh, questionnaire is modified and adapted and uh, questionnaire uh, was designed to take into account how culture works in the research area and to make sure it was written in a way that uh, that was clear and easy to understand now strength of the methodology setting and location is provided variable was given and explained uh, how, how data collection is done by the questionnaire is mentioned source of data is given and uh, formula for sample size is given sample technique is mentioned and statistical method used for the analysis is mentioned uh, now comes to the weakness of the methodology, relevant dates and uh, period of the recruitment was not given. No specific exclusion criteria is mentioned. No mathematical explanation or calculation of the sample size is given. And no explanation of confounding and missing data is given. And bias is not mentioned or explained. Now comes to the uh, section of uh, result and discussion. In the result, it was evaluated uh, that 103 patient, which uh, is 41.4% uh, of the total, total sample size, belongs to Rajanpur zone visiting DHQ uh, hospital Rajanpur. 44 patients were from Rojan and 88 patients from the Jampur visiting Tasil headquarter hospital. Minimum number of respondent, which is 5.6% of the total sample size, was from other nearby district area. And these are the two different graphs showing the results and the percentages of the age of respondent and uh, specialties of the different respondent. And uh, in this uh, table, you can see the prevalence uh, of the disease of the, that very specific area. So in this, uh, this is again the result and discussion and the education level of the household member analyzed the level of awareness uh, and education status of the respondent was categorized as illiterate, primary, middle, matriculation, intermediate, bachelor's and master. So in this pie chart, you can see the different levels of education. So uh, an inadequately working referral system might be incomplete to the fault and system investigation of the patient referral was directed to the region of uh, uh, Punjab territory to the distinguish a real uh, inadequacy assuming any in this area. So this was the study which was done on the attack of the Pakistan and a cross-sectional study conducted in the Saudi Arabia attempted to, to recognize the gap in the exploration on the effectiveness of the uh, referral forms uh, for the patient with the type 2 diabetes in the Saudi Arabia and show that there was no proper allocation of the doctor to the to pursue with the referred as well as direct visiting patient um, according to their study. Strength uh, of the results and discussion. So uh, participants um, are reported beautifully in different uh, stages of group. Characteristic of the participants are explained. Outcomes are explained in percentages, pie charts and table. And key results are summarized with respect to study objective and overall interpretation of the result is done with respect to relevant evidences. Now, weakness is the no flow uh, diagram is made and number of the participants with missing data for each variable of interest is not indicated. No unadjusted estimate are given. Analysis of subgroups and sensitivity analysis is not done. Limitation and bias is not discussed. External validity is not discussed. And source of funding of the research is not mentioned. 
So this is the uh, stroke checklist. I have um, ticked and crossed all those areas which are given uh, and which are not given. Um, this is the YouTube link. Uh, please like and subscribe and thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Manip. I would uh, request Dr. Ambar to please comment on it. Please, Dr. Ambar, go ahead. Assalamualaikum, ma'am. Assalamualaikum, everyone. Um, it was a good presentation. Um, uh, the stop checklist was used, but I would like uh, to add few points for Dr. Manip, and then I will give a review. Uh, Dr. Manip, you said um, regarding the abstract that it wasn't. Structured abstract, please correct this in your presentation. It was an unstructured abstract as no um, headings were given. Secondly, you said no sample size calculations and formulas were given. Please correct this as well. The sample size calculation and sampling techniques was mentioned. So, and uh, whenever you are talking about the bias, so try to identify the bias according to the study designs and also mention them along with the uh, <clears throat> in your presentations. Like in this uh, presentation, I would clarify which type of bias would ha have been addressed. So uh, overall, it was a um, um, good article. Starting with the title, it was clear showing the population and the <clears throat> and the variables to be addressed and the uh, main variable uh, that has to be addressed. Later on in the abstract, it was having um, uh, in the abstract, there was a clear objective statement and uh, also the aim of the study with variables and <clears throat> result section was and conclusion was given. In the introduction, um, yes, uh, the rationale was given, the uh, aim of the study was given, but it could be improved in terms of the referral systems and the um, other um, <clears throat> barriers that we face in our system. However, it was fine and uh, uh, a good scientific background was given. But in the methodology sections, there were a few points that should be have been addressed. One was regarding the questionnaire. Um, uh, no reliability coffee, uh, in coffee, coefficient was mentioned, either grown back alpha value was not mentioned, either pre-testing was done or not. Um, and this was in a very important point, as they said that it was developed and it was uh, <clears throat> self-administered. Second, um, regarding the bias and the missing data, like they have uh, used the information from the doctors as well. So the <clears throat> there are different types of biases that could have been addressed, like the recall bias and <clears throat> or the interviewer's bias and like this. So always identify the biases uh, and the missing data. Yes, it was not considered. <clears throat> and... Um, Later on, the uh, limitations were also not mentioned. Whenever you are using a simple prospective study design, there are several limitations. So it is better to uh, identify those lim limitations to strengthen your study. And uh, lastly, the uh, comment <clears throat> on the um, your comment on the unadjusted um, uh, estimates. So. <laughs> Actually, you please kindly study about the adjusted and the unadjusted because adjustment refers to the reduction of the fluctuation and actually it meaning that whenever you are um, uh, doing some, um, your, uh, your variable is unadjusted whenever there is a bivariate relationship between independent and independent variable. Uh, and um, that does not control for the covariates or the confounders. So I think, um, and, and they are adjusted. <clears throat> when you uh, add, uh, when you uh, consider the relationship 